Howdy howdy, this is Crafty Grinding back again with an arena cutoff video for Marvel Contest of Champions. Today I cover my round two thoughts for the MODOK and Captain Marvel arenas, plus uh, go over some round one results. So first the round one results, so as you can see here, MODOK came in on the lower side of old champs in the game. Usually you're either in the 20 million for that, well for the five star feature anyway. For the five star feature you're either kind of in the lower 20 million or you're closer to 30 million or 30 million plus. And as you can see here he came in at 24.3 million. So closer to that uh, lower side of old champs in the five star feature arena. Jumping over to the four star feature, kind of that 5.5 .5 is kind of middle ground regardless if you're uh, if you're on that higher end or lower end of old champion. So kind of a, a standard number there. And then jumping over to I think what was probably the more interesting arena uh, this time around was the four star basic Captain Marvel arena. And she came in at 2.93 which is actually some other of the uh, locations across the community are reporting closer to 3 million at 2.98 million. But I actually got her at 2.93. So uh, you're hearing directly from me that 2.93 was above the cutoff. <laughs> so that was, I must have got really really close obviously. If you follow my channel, you know in the uh, round one video, I, I, I uh, told folks to go, you pretty should go to 3, 3.1 million to make sure you got her. And fortunately, I just didn't get the opportunity over the weekend to do it. So I, I definitely took a chance by only getting to 2.93. And it looks like I, I, I lucked out. I was probably right around that actual cutoff. But anyway, um, so now that we've, how do actually these results compare to my predictions? So for the most part, was pretty close for the four star feature and the four star basic. Was off though on the uh, um, five star basic. I or sorry, five star feature, as I thought Modoc <clears throat> would probably, you know, go closer to that that second branch since he does still have some utility in the game. Um, but no, not the case. I was off on that. But uh, these two were definitely within that 5 to 10 percent, as I, that's kind of what I try to go after is that 5 to 10 percent of the actual cutoff. So now that I've uh, taken a look at round one results, let's take a look at some uh, recent trends for round two to maybe get an idea of what's going to happen this time around. So starting first with the five star feature. You can see when you're in that lower 20 million range, there's typically a bump in between round one and round two. <clears throat> it's usually, um, in most cases, I should say, not always. There was with Spider-Man Classic, there was a, a slight decrease of 2 million from 23 to 21 million. But in all other cases, there's been an increase of a couple million between round one and round two. Four star features, very similar. Um, you'll see a, an increase. Now, obviously, we're not talking millions. You're, you're usually just talking a million since we're dealing with the four star feature arena. But um, and those numbers compared to the five star feature arena, but still we're looking at a slight increase. Then jumping over to the four star basic, what was interesting for for champs kind of like that medium interest, almost high interest range. So we're talking Thing, Havoc, etc. Darkhawk recently and Mr. Sinister. In all cases except Havoc, those numbers are very similar. So like Darkhawk, it went from 2.4 to 2.48. Um, with Thing, it went from uh, 2.92 to 2.90 but rounded up to 2.91 and then with uh, Mr. Sinister it went from 2.4 to 2.4 so basically you can see between round one and round two here of late for these these champs that have some stronger interest in the four star basic arena those numbers are very similar between round one and round two it was only in Havoc we saw a big decrease from 2.8 to 2.1 I think you know, in my opinion, what I'm thinking is we're going to see a very similar number for Captain Marvel between round one and round two. Now, with the three-star feature arena, what typically happens is these numbers are always around that last milestone. There's, even though these numbers show some steep increases and decreases, you got to look at the absolute numbers we're talking here. We're talking 654 to 677, 20,000 points, and that's nothing even for the three-star feature to, to grind up. So basically, it's all above that two, 640. Anywhere from 650 to 700,000 is where you can kind of expect that cutoff to land for that three-star feature MODOK. So now that we've taken a look at the trends, here are my thoughts for round two predictions for the MODOK and Captain Marvel arenas for the Veterans Bracket. Veterans Bracket, again, means that your account's been open for over 60 days. Doesn't matter how long you've played, it just matters how long that account's been open. Um, so if you're over 60, 61 days plus, you're in the Veterans Bracket. And uh, so for the five-star feature MODOK, I think we're looking at 27 million. I think we're looking at 5.8 million for the four-star feature MODOK. We're looking at 2.9 million again for Captain Mar Marvel four-star basic. Uh, 
and then 670,000 for the three-star feature MODOK. Now, as I always say with predictions, I'm trying to get within five to 10% of the actual cutoff. So if you really don't want to miss out on these champs, here's the numbers I recommend you go to. 30 million should make sure you get the, the uh, five-star feature MODOK. 6.1 million should be enough for the four-star feature MODOK. 3.1 to 3.2 million will make sure you get Captain Marvel, the four-star basic Captain Marvel. And then 700,000 should uh, score you, maybe 710, 710,000 will score you the three-star feature MODOK. Now these grind targets and predictions are for the veterans bracket. When it comes to the earlier brackets, I always say this: these are there's it's it's these are really guesstimates. To be clear, it's it's not as bad as throwing a dart at a dartboard kind of thing, but just there's so much volatility. But when I say what I mean by that is there's so so many people that move across these brackets because you're only in a bracket for 30 days and you're moving new players, etc., new accounts. So it's, it's just always hard to get an exact read on this. Folks across the community that are in these brackets from time to time do give me the results. And I do appreciate it for all those folks in the earlier brackets who give me the results. Um, as there's no other source for me to go get those. So that's you're the only source that I get for that information. So I do appreciate it because I'm not always sitting around creating new accounts to get an idea of what's going on in the beginners in the intermediate bracket. And even if I was... Um, my my accounts alone want to be a good read, so it's really just hearing from you folks across the community who take the time for these earlier brackets. Don't worry about the veterans bracket; plenty of good sources of that data. It's really these earlier brackets that, uh, if anybody's in them and have a few seconds, would love it if you could throw it in the comment sections of these videos, as that really is a good read for that. So based off of that, um, for the beginners bracket, here's the, kind of the latest numbers I'm looking: anywhere from 225 to 250 for the three-star feature champ. Looking at 1.1, 1.2 million for the four-star basic. Some folks have been reporting numbers closer to 500 600,000 so occasionally that number does fall that low but more often than not then when they try to get that same number they miss out on that next champ because those numbers then jump back right closer to 1 million and then for the four star feature mode it's around 1 million for the beginner bracket as well now the intermediate bracket these are a little bit more consistent because at this point people have more robust uh, rosters that they're going after these champs so the three star feature looking at 4 525 four star basic 1.2 again maybe even 1.3 1.4 million and the four star feature you're looking at around right around 1 to 1.1 million so anyway these are my thoughts for round two of the modok and captain marvel arenas would uh really like to hear your opinion especially around one result so i'm all down in the comment section i will check them out there if you have any questions throw them down there as well if i can help i will try to answer those questions sooner than later and uh, other than that, if you found this information uh, useful, would really appreciate it if you click that thumbs up button. And if you like uh, this and other videos uh, on my channel and you haven't yet subscribed, we'd really appreciate it if you did. Thanks a lot for stopping by and have a great day.